Hi there, it's Jenna from scribblinggrace.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how I painted this uh, loose wildflower painting in my journaling bible with acrylic paints. Um, I was inspired to do my version of wildflowers um, by the Instagram account at Helen Deltry. Her name is Helen Deltry. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. So I'll put her link to her Instagram account um, in the description below if you want to check that out. She has a lot of really inspiring floral pieces. Um, so I was inspired to create my own. So I um, always love sharing um, inspiration like that and I hope that my page can inspire you to create something similar. So I am working on Hebrews 10 verses 19 through 25, um, but the main focus for me was probably verses 24 through 25, which says, And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet each other, as is habit of some, but encouraging one another, and in, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. Um, so uh, I felt like this, I stumbled upon this verse, and I felt like it was just super fitting for the times that we're in right now. I know it can be... Uh, you know, we're not able to go to church right now with social distancing and all that. Um, so I just thought that this was, verse was really fitting, not neglected to meet meet together. Um, and while we can't necessarily meet together, there's still so much, so many ways that we can still connect, which I just think is so great. So I um, decided to work on this verse and do some wildflowers. Wildflowers don't really have anything to do with the verse, but they're pretty. And <laughs> I just thought it would be a, a fun page to do. So I am starting off by just painting this blue background, as you can see. So I'm just taking a large flat paintbrush. I have a blue color and a off-white color, but you could also just use a normal white, and you can use whatever blue you want. I think I used a teal. I'll try to find the names of all of the paint colors that I used and put those um, in the blog post that goes along with this video at scribblinggrace.com slash acrylic wildflowers. Um, and you can also find the links to any other supply that I use there, that blog post, and other links to other helpful tutorials as well. Um, so I am using my interlude Bible here, which has the full blank page to work on, so I have lots of space and lots of room. You can absolutely scale this down to fit into a two-inch margin Bible. Um, and of course, you could do this outside of your Bible on a separate sheet of paper and add it as a tip-in or just keep it in a separate journal. Uh, do whatever works for you. So now I'm switching brushes to just a large uh, round paintbrush. I'm going to use mostly this paintbrush for um, this whole page because I want to just work really loosely and try not to uh, stress too much about what exactly I'm doing. And I'm starting by just creating some background greenery. Um, so I have two green colors. I might uh, mix up some more colors just by adding white or adding yellow. Um, there's a, I want a few different tones in the background. So I'm trying to just create these big petals um, and kind of some grass. So I have like those long streaks. <laughs> those are kind of my grass. And then I have the wider pieces that are more like leaf shapes. And I can always add in more petals um, later on as well. But this will just help give me a nice uh, green background for my wildflowers. Um, and again, I'm not really focusing on what shape I'm creating. I'm just kind of moving my brush around. I'm trying to create uh, the loose look. It's not going to be the exact impression or, you know, the exact picture of a wildflower. This is not very realistic. Um, but you definitely can still get the idea that they're wildflowers. And so uh, that's great. And by creating this loosely, it makes it a lot simpler for beginners. So I want to encourage you, if it looks intimidating, um, give it a shot. The only way we can get better is through practicing and by doing. So um, if you're always too scared to give things a try, then you're never going to get any better at it. So um, just throw off those bat lines and uh, try it out. So um, now I'm just kind of creating some smaller petal or leaf shapes and just pushing my brush around, um, creating little small swipes. Um, again, just with that same big uh, round paintbrush. This all so far has also been in real time, as you can probably tell. Um, so I might try to speed it up later on, but I wanted to just show you um, in real time so you can see 
how I'm using my brush and how quick I'm moving and things like that. Um, you absolutely could try to make this however you want to make it. Um, so you can focus more on what strokes you're creating. You can uh, just do it quickly and whimsically like I'm doing. Um, it's totally up to you. That's the great thing about art is that every page is going to be different, which is just, and every person's art is going to be different. So that's just so um, great about it. So now I'm starting to add in some flowers and I'm starting with my yellow. Um, yellow is one of those uh, colors that's very transparent. So you can see um, that with that yellow, you can still see the green in the back. Um, and so I'm just going to go over the yellow a couple of times to get it a little bit more opaque. Um, one way that you can try to get your yellow a little more opaque is by adding some white to it. Um, I get asked this a lot is how I have my color so vibrant on that background. Um, and it's really a lot of times I, I like to add a lot of white. Um, but for right now I'm just using the color straight out of the tube and I'm using just cheap, cheap, cheap apple barrel acrylic paints. So if you used a higher quality paint, um, your yellow will probably be a little more opaque. Um, the cheaper quality paints obviously are not as pigmented, so they're not going to stand out as much as a higher quality paint. But uh, for Bible journaling purposes, I'm all about just using the cheap stuff because um, it's just Bible journaling. <laughs> we're not making any crazy uh, artwork that we're selling for buco money so anyways <laughs> um i use the cheap apple barrel paints from walmart they're like 50 cents a tube and they last me a really long time but you can use any acrylic paint they won't bleed through your page and i did not prep my page with anything so um as you can see i just added some coral and now i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of blue all the flowers and these three colors that I'm adding right now, um, they're all just very simple. Um, I'm just taking my paintbrush and just dabbing it on the page. I'm not trying to create any specific flower shape here. These are kind of more of my background flowers. I'll add a couple more, somewhat more detailed um, flowers later on, but for now I'm just kind of keeping it really simple, just dabbing in that color. and. As you can tell, though there's no actual flower shapes, um, you can still get the idea that, okay, those are flowers, <laughs> which is exactly what we're going for. I also really love the look of this page, just as it is right now, um, simpler, more toned down with just a couple colors. So that's another total option that you can think about. Um, I decided to add in more and more flowers and make it really a busy wildflower look, but Again, um, there's so many ways that you can vary this up to make it yours. So I'm adding in some red flowers now. And these are kind of somewhat more of the actual flower shape. Um, so again, I'm not still not focusing much on the shape that I'm creating. I'm just trying to create somewhat of a crown. Um, so kind of a flat bottom with the petals shooting upward. Um, as you can see, they kind of look like poppies maybe. This is still in real time, so you can see that I'm moving pretty quickly. Um, the whole idea, again, is loose, quick, um, not worrying that much about it. The great thing about creating these loose wildflowers is that any way that your brush goes, it's still going to look cool, and it'll still give you the impression of wildflowers, which is just what we're going for. Um, remember those first three colors, just dabbing my brush all around the page with the color on it, um, and it still looked like flowers. So um, now, even though I created somewhat more of a flower shape, it's still just really simple, um, simplified brush on the page. That's the whole point I'm just trying to get through to you. Um, just get your brush on the page. All right, <laughs> let's move on to the next color. So now I'm picking up some white um, and I'm going to try to create kind of a daisy um, or like really small little daisy here. So I'm just using the very tip of my paintbrush. This is still that large round paintbrush. Um, but the tip is still tiny. So you can use just the tip of it and create those small little tiny brush strokes. If you applied more pressure to the paintbrush, um, you'll create thicker strokes. So um, that's always a fun thing about using a large paintbrush is that you have such a variety of um, brush strokes and sizes that you can create um, with just the one paintbrush. So to create my little daisies, I'm just, uh, leaving a little space in the center and going outward 
um, or sometimes inward with my paintbrush, um, using that tip of the brush just to create strokes um, to give an idea of some type of a daisy-like flower. Um, and I'm going to fill in that center portion with yellow in just a second. For now, I'm just doing the white, and that way I don't have to keep on cleaning my brush back and forth, back and forth. So I do the white all at once, and then I'll add in the yellow. Um, all right, so at this point, I'm going to start speeding this up so that we're not here forever and ever. Um, but I'm just going to continue on painting these flower shapes, uh, maybe a few more green leaves um, in the foreground as well. And I'm just going to keep on adding in colors as I see fit. So um, here I'm just adding some dots of white. I'll add some dots of yellow, um, just like I did with the red and the white, just blotting those colors on. Um, here I just went back over the original yellow color with yellow again because again like I was saying the yellow is really transparent so I went back over it to make it a little bit more opaque and help it to stand out a little bit better and I really like how it turned out. I also added a little bit more definition to those red flowers by going over them again with the red and adding a little bit of white with the tip of my paintbrush, just adding in a few swipes of white. Um, that just helps them to pop out a little bit more, I thought. Um, and I'm just gonna continue filling in any blank spaces that I feel. Here I'm just adding in a little bit of pink. Um, and that's pretty much it for the painting portion of my page. Again, the verse that I was working on was Hebrews 10 verses 19 through 25. Um, so if you want to check those out, uh, please do so. So, and again, I'll mention um, that you can head on over to the blog post that goes along with this video at scribblinggrace.com slash acrylic wildflowers and find all the links to all the supplies that I use and other helpful tutorials um, to create Bible journaling pages like this. All right, so that's it. I'm just using my heat gun to dry my page really quickly. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my lettering. I'm gonna use my Uniposca white extra fine paint pen. Um, this is a 1M size Uniposca. Um, you can also, of course, use a gel pen as well. I just love these paint pens because I feel like it's just really opaque and they work really well and I just really like them and I had them on hand and I didn't have a gel pen on hand. So um, I am, normally I would do some kind of faux calligraphy um, with this paint pen, but instead I decided to keep it simple and continue on with the idea of this page, um, just really loose, whimsical. Um, so I wrote out, stir up one another to love and good works, encouraging one another at the top. And then at the bottom, um, where it's hard to see, but I liked that I couldn't really see it all that well. Um, it says, let us hold fast the confession of our hope, um, at the bottom there. And so I did write it out with pencil first, just kind of sketched it really quickly, a kind of a mix of calligraphy and my own handwriting, um, or not calligraphy, but script letter script lettering <laughs> cursive um and non-cursive lettering i guess um and i really was have i felt like it just was the perfect accent to this page i feel like if i had done calligraphy it might have been a little bit too much since the flowers are so much um adding in a fancy lettering could also be too much but that's just my personal opinion and you of course could also use stamps or stickers at this point um, the great thing about acrylic paints as well is that you don't have to prep your page for them and they act as a page prep. So you can use materials that normally would bleed through like certain stamps um, or inks or pens or whatever on top of them without them bleeding through. So um, for example, this Uniposca paint pen that I'm using technically does bleed through a Bible journaling page. Um, I use it without page prep on other pages as well because it's white so you can't really tell if it bleeds through but if I were to use the black you could definitely see the bleed through of it um, but since I had the acrylic paint down it would protect that black from bleeding through if I were to use black so all right that's it for my page I really love this one um, I'll show you the back side <laughs> And be sure to check out the blog post. Again, no bleed through, you can see. Um, but be sure to check out that blog post, scribblinggrace.com slash acrylic wildflowers. And I'll put that link in the description below. And um, all right, I hope that you have a really wonderful day. I hope that you'll give this one a shot. And if you do, be sure to tag me on Instagram and Facebook, Scribbling Grace. All right, <laughs> much love, many blessings. Bye. <laughs>